Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm going to bring you guys your preview of your new Blu-rays releasing in October of 2017 as listed on Blu-ray.com. So I'm going to go through kind of the big names and what I think you guys are interested in, talk about some of the movies, let you guys know what I'm going to be picking up this month so you guys know what to check back for. Of course, I will do weekly shopping guides so every sunday or monday i put up a video comparing prices of the most popular movies at popular retailers a lot of people enjoy that video so they don't have to do too much research try to help you guys out so let's just get right into it here the first week we have october 3rd uh, we have this one hunters the art of the scare this sounds like a movie i'd really be interested in uh, i believe it's a documentary about uh, people behind haunted houses and if you guys are um, familiar with the channel, I do enjoy haunted houses and I love just watching things about them. Here we go. Haunters is a heartwarming and heart-stopping documentary about people who sacrifice everything to create the most popular and polarizing haunted houses for Halloween. From boo scare mazes to controversial new subculture of extreme terror experiences. The only issue I have with this is uh, it's $23 seems a little high for me. I would really like to check this out, but I probably just will not have the money to do so. Um... Before I get to any more, I actually thought this was going to be like a slow month where I wasn't going to spend a lot. And the, the more I got into researching for this video, I was like, holy moly, there is a lot. <laughs> uh, so next up, we have Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, this one is rated PG-13, has a two-hour and nine-minute runtime, and it's an action-adventure fantasy with a 6.8 rating on IMDb. Captain Jack Sparrow searches for the Trident of Poseidon while being pursued by an undead sea captain and his crew scary johnny depp and uh you guys can kind of see who else is there orlando bloom kira knightley um i did i actually already have this one yeah came early so uh i think the unboxing is going up before this video <laughs> um but it is going to have uh quite a, quite a few versions here we have a target exclusive bonus content i don't know is that target ex is that exclusive artwork no i uh, also have a 4k version uh, 4K Blu-ray, a 2K Blu-ray. I don't think the 3D is being released same day. And then Target exclusive 4K version. Um, so it's just going to have like exclusive content, I guess, on it. Now this one, I'm pretty confused about. Sharknado 5 Global Swarming. Um, now I remember... God, I can't... No, actually, I say I remember when I really don't. But... Uh, <laughs> I think it was the first Sharknado. The Blu-ray was exclusive at Best Buy. I don't remember if that was uh, just a timed exclusive or if it stayed exclusive. Um, but I think since then, they've all been just, you know, wide releases. Uh, this one, I c they only have it on here listed on the Best Buy website. You know, there's no listing on Amazon. There's no listing for the DVD. But on the Best Buy website, it doesn't say Best Buy exclusive. So if you guys have any more info about this, uh, please let me know. Uh, I do plan on stopping by Best Buy on Tuesday and picking that up. Uh, another interesting thing, I was checking out the ratings on uh, all the Sharknado movies, and this this is actually, I believe, the highest rated out of all the Sharknados. With Sharknado 1 only at like a 3.3. Now, I don't know. I've said over and over, the first one is the best one because it was just so genius that they thought they were making a movie and not a parody of movies. And then they turned them all into ridiculous parodies so um sharknado 5 global swarming tv 14 an hour and 30 minute runtime this is a horror sci-fi this is this is a sci-fi movie from the sci-fi channel so uh, you guys should kind of know what you're getting into here uh 4.3 rating with much of america lying in ruins the west of the world braces for global sharknado finn and his family must travel around the world to stop them now to me i don't understand the the whole idea of this movie it seems like a step backwards they've already dealt with sharknados in space and now they're like, oh, this one's global. It's like, but you were already interstellar. You know? <laughs> You're going backwards. They're like, this one's going to affect the whole state. And then Seven will be, well, this town really better prepare for Sharknados. <laughs> uh, Ian Zeering and Tara Reed. Oh, Chris Kattan. I hope he dies super fast. Clay Aiken. Wow. Doesn't look like as many people I've even heard of before in this one but i'll definitely be checking that one out have you guys seen it i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below uh next up we have a ghost story i really 
don't know much about this one. Uh, rated R, hour and 32 minute running time, a drama fantasy romance with a 7.2 rating. In the singular exploration of legacy, love, loss, and the enormity of existence, a recently deceased white sheeted ghost returns to his suburban home to try to reconnect with his bereft family. Our bereft wife. Uh, can a white sheeted ghost die, or he returned as a white sheeted ghost? Casey Affleck, Rooney Mara. I would really like to check this one out, but again, I just I don't think I'm gonna have the money for it. Um, I'll definitely pick this up at some point, but uh, I don't know if I can get that one day one. I would really like to, and I probably should have got that one, but several months ago i pre-ordered cult of chucky i was like well that pre-order price is pretty cheap you know you just have to check it out cult of chucky rated r hour and 31 minute runtime a horror thriller with a 5.4 rating chucky returns to terrorize his human victims nika meanwhile the killer doll has some scores to settle with old enemies and help with the help of his former wife jennifer tilly Uh, I've heard it's not very good. <laughs> um, we're also getting popcorn on Blu-ray. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, I did do a review. I got the steel book they put out a few months ago. So I do have a review of that on my channel. If you guys are interested, uh, American horror, st horror story, Roanoke. Uh, I guessing I'm probably going to wait on this one. Uh, I have to check and see how much the DVD is. Uh, Vikings season four, volume two, uh, should be getting the DVD of that one. Um, Justice League, The New Frontier, is the animated, uh, I'm not really too interested in this, but I believe it's going to have a wide release steelbook. My internet is not working. Well, I believe that one's going to have a wide release steelbook. Uh, Kick-Ass in 4K, Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula in 4K, The Bridge Over the River Kwai in 4K, Warm Bodies in 4K, Dawn of the Attitude Era, the best time to be a WWE fan. Uh, we're also going to have Goon, The Last of the Enforcers. Uh, this one's with Sean William Scott, and it's like a hockey comedy, uh, sports comedy. Uh, let's just read this. Rated R, hour and 41 minute runtime with a 6 rating on IMDb. I saw the first one. I kind of enjoyed it, and I definitely would like to check this one out. Uh, I believe I watched the first one on Netflix, and I, I think there's a review up on my channel. Um, so... So, a hockey player plagued by injuries is confronted with the possibility of retirement when a tough new player challenges his status as the league's top enforcer. <coughs> you know, I like Sean William Scott. I think he's probably better than he gets credit for. As Liv Schreiber. Again, I'll be, I'll be waiting to check that one out for sure, but I do definitely want to check it out eventually. Uh, looks like the internet for some reason is working again, so we can check on that. Uh, this movie, Jackals, is coming out. House of Cards, the fifth season. I Zombie, the third season. And it looks like that is it. So many things for one one day. Let's see. Where's the steel book? Commemorative edition. This must be the steel book. Steelbook. Yeah, I think this should be available pretty much over $27. Holy moly. Mm. All right. So that brings us to October the 10th. And uh, we're going to get Baby Driver. And it's going to be on 4K edition, a Blu-ray edition, a Best Buy exclusive Steelbook edition uh, with that pop art. What do you guys think? I, I seem pretty split on my comment section. Uh, if, if you guys like this one or not. I mean, I don't think it's anything great, but I think a lot of the Sony pop arts have been just downright terrible and ugly, and I feel like this one at least is not ugly. It's pretty plain and boring, and, you know, a lot of times these are kind of boring, but um, I don't think it's the worst one I've seen all year. So this one's rated R, hour and 52-minute runtime, action crime music with an 8 rating on IMDb. After being coerced into working for a crime boss, a young getaway driver finds himself taking part in a heist that's doomed to fail. Uh, Ansel Elgort, John Bernthal, John Hamm. I, I did already pre-order this one, so I will have a... Oh, yeah, Kevin Spacey. I will have an unboxing for you guys on this one. Shortly before or after or during the 10th. <laughs> um... 
the house. And I thought this one looked interesting. It looks like um, it didn't get super good ratings. This one's uh, rated R, an hour and 28 minute runtime, and a comedy with a 5.6 rating. After the town takes away their daughter's college scholarship, a couple start an illegal casino in their friend's house to make back the money. <laughs> Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler, Nick Kroll. Um, I thought there was somebody else in this, but I'm not seeing them. The house. Hey, what it, <clears throat> have you guys seen that one? What are you guys' thoughts on it? Is it very funny? Like, I never... Comedies never seem to be that funny anymore. They're just always kind of stupid. Uh, open Water 3, Cage Dive. Uh, or Cage Dive, the original title. So they probably just threw on that Open Water name as like a cash-in. Uh, this one's rated R, hour and 20 minute runtime. Drama, horror, thriller with a 4.2 rating. Three friends filming an audition tape for an extreme reality show take part in a shark cage diving. Only to be left in great white infested waters um, I don't imagine I've heard of anybody in this movie <laughs> the Divergent series on blu-ray all right so I guess that's it so that should take us to October 17th and I'm not really sure uh, what all these are. If these are going to be like a movie cache thing or what. I haven't really looked. Um, we're going to have this Batman Two-Face. But for some reason, um, Target will not have an exclusive steelbook. They're going to have a lenticular cover. Batman versus Two-Face. Looks like there is no steelbook edition. So that's kind of weird. I wonder if they're going to stop making those DC animated steelbooks or what the deal is. Of course, this is also... Um, kind of expensive, so I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. If you guys you guys have any information, well, love to hear it. <laughs> Sometimes you guys know a lot more than I do. Actually, lots of times you guys know a lot more than I do. Uh, so next up we have Spider Man Homecoming. Uh, there's this stupid I think there's like an Amazon with a mask thing and a 4K and a steel book and a 3D and a Blu-ray and a Target Blu-ray and a DVD. Um. I pre-ordered the Steelbook, so I will have that unboxing for you guys. I really enjoyed this movie. It was a really fun movie. Uh, I do have a review on my channel if you guys want to check that out. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, rated PG-13, a 2-hour and 13-minute runtime. This is an action-adventure sci-fi with 7.8 rating on IMDb. Very rare that I rate a movie higher than IMDb, but I definitely gave this one a higher than a 7.8. Peter Parker tries to balance his life as an ordinary high school student in Queens with his superhero alter ego, Spider-Man. And must confront a new menace prowling the skies of New York City. My computer's frozen. All right. You guys know who's in it anyways. We're going to get Apollo 13 in 4K, Serenity in 4K, and they're also going to release the Spider-Man Collection Steelbook 4K. Uh, I definitely won't be after this. Or is it a digibook or both? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Too many versions of Spider-Man coming out. I think they're going to do a digibook and a steelbook. It's just like, ah, uh, yeah, this is like the best buy. I already bought it in Blu-ray, so leave me alone. Next up we'll have um, October 24th. And we have War of the Planet of the Apes. And I forgot to pull up the information on that. I don't know if it's going to... We're going to have a 4K version. I think there's going to be a 3D available, a Blu-ray and a 3D. Let's see, 4K. Well, maybe not a 3D. Oh, yeah, 3D and a Blu-ray. Kind of disappointing that there, there's not going to be a Steelbook or anything, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, this is a sci-fi movie. I imagine there's also some action in it. Come on, guys. Caesar and his apes are forced into a deadly conflict with an army of humans led by the ruth by a ruthless colonel. After the apes suffer unimaginable losses, Caesar wrestles with his darker instincts and begins his own mythic quest to avenge his kind. As the journey finally brings them face to face, Caesar and the colonel are pitted against 
each other in an epic battle that will determine the fate of both their species and the future of the planet. Woody Harrelson's in this? Steve Zahn's in this? Oh my gosh. Uh, (laughs) 8.1 rating. I'll probably pick up the 3D version, to be honest. Uh, I'd I'd probably rather have that. Uh, Some people have told me the Emoji movie's terrible. Annabelle Creation. This movie... I don't know. I hated the first Annabelle so much. Like some people were like, "Oh, it's so great," and I was like, oh, "Okay," but whatever. If you guys liked it, it's fine. But it was just so terrible. Like the first Conjuring's that been the only good movie in the Conjuring series. I don't understand why they keep making them. Uh, so I probably won't pick this one up right away, unless I, you know, I'm just like, oh, I have an extra twenty five dollars. I'll go pick it up. You know, <laughs> I probably probably just wait until it's cheaper. Uh, this one's rated R, hour and forty nine minute runtime, a horror mystery thriller with a six point eight rating. Twelve years after the tragic death of their little girl, a doll maker and his wife welcome a nun and several girls from a shuttered orphanage into their home, where they soon become the target of the doll maker's possessed creation, Annabelle. I don't think that this one is... Ge- this one's just getting a Blu-ray and a DVD release. Um, we also got Warrior coming to 4K. And that will bring us to Halloween. <laughs> Outcast Season 1. Never heard of it. Uh, the Dark Tower. PG-13, hour and 35 minute runtime, action, adventure, fantasy with a 6 rating on IMDb. I heard a lot of people did not care for this one. Uh, the Last Gunslinger, Roland Deschain, has been locked in an eternal battle with Walter O'Dim, also known as the Man in Black. <laughs> Isn't that also... Uh, can't think of his name. The singer. <laughs> Determined to prevent him from topping the toppling the dark tower which holds the universe together with the fate of the worlds at stake good and evil will collide in the ultimate battle as roland as only roland can defend the tower from the man in black uh idris alba matthew mcconaughey this one's gonna have a couple releases it's gonna have a 4k blu-ray it's also gonna have a best buy exclusive steelbook now i have not put up a, a video talking about this one yet uh, I still have to pre-order mine. What do you guys think of the artwork on this? It's it's another Sony pop project pop art. Are they ever going to quit these stupid project pop art things? This one I don't think is terrible, although it's just kind of like, oh, i got a random gun here and a thing there. Is that supposed to be the tower? It's like, <sighs> It's not the worst, but it's far from the best. Uh, we're also going to get Hellraiser on Steelbook. I think it's going to be an expensive steelbook. We're also getting Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, they're only showing the 4K. I, I thought this was also supposed, to, also supposed to release in 3D on the same day. Of course, it might be hard to tell on here. Um, I don't wonder if it got delayed. It doesn't have a release date. Because I'm pretty sure that was, that was scheduled to release the same day. So I might pick up the, f- the 4K version. They do have this, like arm version that's like a billion dollars actually this one was supposed to include the 3d version is it still including the 3d version oh they took it out okay one movie three cuts hmm amazon doesn't have it listed anymore weird all right so i think that's the majority you know of what's coming out there's probably some more um what do you guys plan on picking up this month what do you guys think looks good um let's just real quickly before we end the video let's run over let's run over let's talk about and discuss the movies that you guys could see unboxed here uh pirates of the caribbean i already have that one i'm unboxing it right after this video uh sharknado 5 i should have that uh i did pre-order cult of chucky i think it should be here on tuesday so maybe wednesday i can get that unboxing for you guys uh, if I can find a way, I'll get Ghost Story, but probably not. <laughs> uh, should be getting Vikings Season 4, Volume 2. Baby Driver, 4K Steelbook, for show, sure. For show. Sure. I'm still iffy on the house. I would really like to get it, but I, I just feel like I'm going to be so disappointed in it. So, and Open Water 3 sounds even worse. <laughs> Um, the 4K Steelbook of Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, 
War of the Planet of the Apes. Most likely I'll get the 3D version over the 4K version. I might, like I said, I might just skip Annabelle Creation for a while. Uh, the Dark Tower 4K Steelbook, and I guess that's about it. Unfortunately, they're releasing like a new 4K Steelbook like every week, and they're like $35. So it's kind of eating up a large portion of my movie budget. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like rating. Please check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out the suggested videos, and I'll see you guys next time.